Good evening, everyone. We are here at the Asia CEO Awards. I'm with Sarah. So tell us, Sarah, what is the number one trait that you look forward to in today's leaders? Um, because I try to uh, be authentic and honest in everything that I do. Um, and I try to give back to the people below me. I look for the same sort of thing in my leaders. So somebody who's genuinely invested in uh, growing the staff and, and leading, you know, it's cheesy, but leading by example, but yeah. You know what they say, guys, there's a difference between bosses and leaders, and leaders are the ones who truly, as what you said, lead by example. Um, one last quick surprise question, Sarah. Um, what is your definition of success? Uh, tough one. <laughs> but just coming from the heart, what can, yeah. Um, I mean, in an ideal world, success yeah. to me is um, being in a role or in a position where uh, what I do gives back to the community or yeah. gives back to society in some way, I, or I make some sort of bigger impact than just making money for myself. Or, um, so for me, that's the true definition of success. Yeah. So there we have it, folks. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so right. much. As a leader and CEO, what was the most challenging experience that you've had? You know, when I came into the Philippines, mm -hmm. there were no 24-hour community trips. Oh, no. And so we had to start this business from scratch. Okay. And there were many who said that people aren't going to go to community gyms, that they want to go to these big box gyms. And I had to do a lot of fighting and had to convince a lot of landlords, a lot of members, a lot of investors that the idea of opening up gyms within walking distance of where people live or where they work and providing this amazing vehicle which is just convenience is the panacea. That will change lives. Now, in the first six to eight months, wow, that was hard. To, be, to have people believe that, it's yeah, very, very sure. hard. <laughs> but over time, they came to believe it, they understood it, and now, fast forward to today, we have over 170 gyms. Awesome. You know what they say, Maurice, if you have that passion at the start, it's going to be really hard, but if you have that passion and commitment, sooner or later, as long as you believe in it, other people are going to follow as well. That's right. It's, a, it's part of being involved yeah. in a mission. Definitely. So set your path and continue, and you'll be knocked down, I, I guarantee it, oh, yeah. and that builds the character that has you go forward. Absolutely. One last question, Maurice. Um, hmm, sorry, I kind of forgot what it was. It was a train of thought and then I lost it. You know how these things go. Um, oh yeah, what, um, if there's one thing, one advice that you can impart to the new and upcoming leaders of the country, what would that be? True grit, don't yeah. stop. Keep on powering on. You will fall, you will, you will take a knee every once in a while, but get up and keep on going. Practice true grit and resilience, and don't ever lose sight of your vision and your belief and your path. Uh, yeah, as a foreigner in the Philippines, yeah. um, you know, I've, I've had the opportunity to live here for a number of years, mm -hmm. and along the way, um, you know, what I've tried to do is make sure that uh, I learn as much as I can about the culture, about yeah. the people, to be able to adapt my style while here, yeah. and uh, uh, help others grow their careers as well. So I've been here for eight years, I love it. Um, fantastic country, fantastic people. Um, love Canada, but don't miss the snow, and uh, it's been a great experience. So. Okay, so you've really immersed yourself uh, here in the Philippines. I'm a Canadino. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been an absolute right, pleasure, cheers. Jane. Great to Thank you well. so much. Right. So there we have it, folks. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. We are here at the Asia CEO Awards. I am with Sir RJ. First of all, Sir RJ, congratulations. Thanks so much. Much appreciated. Awesome. Um, I've got one question, Sir RJ. What was the most challenging leadership experience that you faced? Uh, I think the challenging uh, portion of building Mercado Central was when we had to pivot the business. As we know right now, the current business environment is one where you are either the disruptor or yeah. the disrupted. Correct. So there came to a point when, you know, back in 2016, uh, you know, we were first the first really established food market in the country. Then all of a sudden, we mm -hmm. started opening up all these different food parks all over the place. And we were saying, what's our place in business right now with right. all these food parks emerging? And we realized that what our business was, 
was that we were not a food market. We were actually a place that people went to to get better, to improve their business, to get better so that they could expand and scale up. So we evolved from being a small food business, a small food market, becoming a small food business incubator. So that totally changed our business model and the way that we think about business. So my big advice to many people is really yeah. that when you're doing business, prepare to be disrupted because oh, your yeah. business will be disrupted yeah. anyway. Exactly. And it's how you think about it that uh, if you're going to find a way to disrupt your business, then you look at the pain points again. Uh, yeah. What are the pain points of the client, the consumer? Right. And that's where you pivot the business around. So Fair don't enough. look at yeah. don't don't look at yourself. Look at where's the, what 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 can we do to better serve the client? And my client. Where, where, uh, Food vendors, I think, yeah. what can I do better to serve these food vendors that these other people aren't doing? Right. And nobody can mentor them like that we can mentor them here in Mercado Central. And so if right now you're listening to my interview here on the show, let me tell you this one. I will okay. give you a month-long rent-free stay in Mercado Central if you come up with a innovative and yummy food concept. All you have to do is go to the Mercado Central Facebook page, apply for a taste test. If you guys pass, we'll give you a month-long rent-free stay. I will even mentor you personally to improve your business. Go. So adaptability, adaptability yeah. versatility, and customer centricity. That's right. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Again, guys, yeah. thanks so much. Good luck yeah. to the future entrepreneurs out there. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sir RJ. Thank you. Thank you. Sir Francis. So, just got one last question for you. What knowledge or what can you impart to the new and upcoming leaders of our country? I think I only have one description in order for you to be the upcoming candidate for this uh, for the CEO awards mm -hmm. it's really about audacity right you have to you, you have to pursue relentlessly your goals and um, find the people that who are also believing in your goals as well your, exactly and your belief system so once you get that everything will uh, fall in the right place so there you have it folks it has to come from you and you have to surround yourself with others who also believe in your dreams thank you so much sir francis it's been an absolute pleasure thank you